close your eyes and watch your breath, all the way in, all the way out. You want to stay with the breath because eventually that becomes a place where the mind can settle down. The mind doesn't have to tense itself up all the time, getting ready to jump to the next thing and the next thing. You can just stay right here. For the time being, you have no other responsibilities, nothing else you have to think about, nothing else you have to plan. Just plan that you're going to stay right here. Anything else that comes in, just let it go, let it go, let it go. You're going to make this your foundation, because it's only when you've got a good, solid foundation that you can see things clearly, both outside and inside. If you're running around all the time, not only are you tensing up all the time, but you're also seeing things in a blur. You may have a little sharp picture of this for a second and then a sharp picture of that over there, but in between you don't see what's going on. And so you don't have an idea of how things are connected, because this is important in seeing how your actions lead to particular results. If you stay right here in the present moment, you'll see that. Okay, here was this intention, and this is what it did. And because I acted on that intention, this is what the results I got. You can see whether it was skillful or not. But if you're jumping around all the time, you don't see connections. Life is just connect the dots, and in, as you know, with a lot of it, connect the dots. You can connect them in any order at all and come up with any kind of thing. It can be a bird, it can be a dog, it can be a plane. All you know is you've got these little dots. But sometimes you draw a dog and you're 100% convinced that it's a dog, and it turned out, well, no, it was actually a, a reptile. So you've got to stay with things. Watch them carefully, continually, and that's when you get to see the connection between your actions and the results and the, the pleasure and pain that they give rise to. That way you can sort out your intentions so you can have a better idea of which ones are worth following which ones are not. And the Buddha tells you, you, know, you don't act on anything unskillful, and he gives you examples of what's unskillful. But when you see it for yourself, it goes that much deeper into the heart. You know, oh, what, he, what he taught was right. Killing, stealing, illicit sex, lying. Taking intoxicants, these always are unskillful. And then the other things that don't fall under the issue of the precepts, but you can learn to see for yourself, okay, this kind of thought or this kind of action or these kind of words, these are not really good things to be getting engaged in. And again, when you see it for yourself, it really goes deep inside. It becomes a lesson that sticks with you for a long time. So learn how to stay right here so you can see things clearly, see their connections. That way the knowledge of the Dharma becomes your own.